Welcome to module six, where I'm gonna talk about creating a rock solid business structure that will keep both you and your business secure for many years to come. Once I help you determine the best business structure for you, I'll then talk about getting your Amazon account set up and ready to go. We are then officially in phase two of the program, so congratulations for getting this far. Now it's time to take things up a notch and get into actually creating this business so that we can get things moving. Let's dive in. We're going to begin by reviewing the objectives of this module, as well as taking stock of where you are in the process. Before we do that, it's important to note that this module may seem to take you off track in terms of moving forward with ordering your items. However, you must go through everything in this module carefully. Why? Because this is the foundation upon which you're going to grow your entire business. If you skip this step or set things up incorrectly, you'll find that this will come back to hurt you and your business later on. Let's first get into the objectives of this phase. Before we get into the meat of this module, the first thing I'm going to do in this phase is show you how to set up a suitable business structure. This will enable you to build your entire business on a sustainable foundation as opposed to something that will regularly change or even worse, something that can't be changed and must be started again from scratch. I'll then move on to opening your Seller Central professional account so that we have both a vehicle to trade from for our company as well as a way to get our items in front of customers. I'll then look to finalize your orders with your suppliers now that we have the necessary business structure in place to do so. Once goods have been completed, they will be transported from origin to destination. Destination being an Amazon fulfillment center, of course, or possibly multiple fulfillment centers, depending on your level of ambition. This part of the program can become a little overwhelming as there is a lot to learn. The best way to deal with this, however, is simply to take your time and go through everything meticulously and of course, step by step. You're gonna learn about the different styles of shipping available to you, why you must work with a freight forwarder, how to actually work with a freight forwarder, how to pay your suppliers securely, as well as I'm gonna teach you the timeline behind an import order. While that's happening, you'll create and optimize a world-class Amazon listing from scratch. I have an incredibly simple method that delivers phenomenal results with the intelligent sales machine style products. The good news is that you'll be able to plug and play with this in a matter of hours. The final step in this phase is where I'll be teaching you how to grow and expand your Amazon business. It's all very well getting one item into stock and having that begin to sell. However, it's even more important to have the knowledge and skills to understand how to continue growing your business from thousands to tens of thousands and then hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue. As you can see, I've got a lot to cover, so let's get started now with teaching you how to choose and create a rock solid business structure. Now, before we go any further, I'd like to take a moment to review where you are in the process to see if it's appropriate to actually move into this module. At the start of this program, I told you to go through everything step by step and to not simply consume the entire program and then go back. Let's check in and see where you are. It's important to always measure your progress in business and this is absolutely no different at all. So here's where you should be after completing the first phase of the program. One, you should have returned to the search phase at least twice by now. Why? Because the likelihood of you choosing perfect items the first time around is quite remote. Remember, this is a brand new process that you've never done before. You can't expect to do this perfectly from day one. The best way to make certain that you're moving along the right line is to continue adding more and more products to your pipeline. This replenishes your opportunities regularly and helps you master the research process at the same time. You should also have calculated the profitability of multiple items that you've received quotes back for. Again, I want you to become very familiar with this research process as this is the business for the most part. Remember the key two parts of this business are research, logistics and growth plus measurement. Once you get those parts of the process down, you will see dramatic changes in your income but it all starts with research. You should also have contacted suppliers and received samples by now as well. Again, if you're not here yet, then you really shouldn't move any further in the process because you're not ready to. If you don't have a product, you don't have a requirement for a business or an Amazon account. It's as simple as that. You should therefore have received enough information back to have decided on a product or products to move forward with. And finally, you should have, at least in your mind anyway, committed to placing at least one order. You likely haven't placed it as you didn't have a vehicle to place it with, but you should at least be ready and have negotiated your trial order. If you're not at this point yet, that is, if you said no to any of the points in the previous slide, then I'd suggest 
you move back to the previous modules immediately and begin refilling your pipeline again. Now the reason I'm telling you to do this is not to be difficult or hold you back. I don't suggest that you slow down your momentum of research. Quite the opposite in fact. Continue adding to your pipeline and continue getting pricing and receiving samples. The thing I want to avoid is for you to learn things that aren't relevant to you at this moment in time. All this will do is send you closer to becoming demotivated from information overload. All you need to do is follow the Intelligent Sales Machine program step by step and take action on the building blocks in the previous modules. And right now that's all you really need to have achieved. Avoid going down the rabbit hole of taking no action and simply consuming everything. While it's good that you're taking the information in, the reality is that you're not actually creating any forward momentum doing this. You're simply jogging really fast on the spot and setting off on a journey to nowhere. I want you to commit to becoming a person of action and implement. This is the way I have generated significant wealth and it's the way you will too. So let's now review this module's objectives. I'll begin by talking about why you should set up a business entity. I hear this all the time. Students ask me, do I really need to set up a company? I'll answer that in detail for you so you know exactly why we're doing this. Next, I'll show you how to choose a suitable business entity, followed by how to create your Amazon Seller Central account once your business and bank account are in place. I'll finish the module by revealing the best way to create business payment structures that are completely future-proofed. 